Okay, where's our car at? <sighs> we are faster than the Ferrari. Uh, we are not on par with the McLaren. Okay. Our engine cooling is fantastic, though. Merc is going to be a little bit faster than us, but our acceleration is better. Their DRS is better, though. The Renault, we're faster than the Renault. We're faster than the Williams. Obviously, that's us. Faster than the Alphatari. The Audi, we are almost on par with each other. Same there with the Aston Martin, almost on par with each other. So in grid, we're ninth in top speed, second in acceleration. Is that going to be first and second? No, someone's car is actually faster than us. Someone has an upgrade. Our speed in corner isn't the greatest, but that is a good car. Greetings from Azerbaijan. Well, we're back in the country's capital. The spectacular Baku city circuit will take drivers right through the city streets, from the narrow roads of the old town to the wide highway alongside the Caspian Sea, where cars will be fighting wheel to wheel this weekend. Drivers will be battling it out on the streets of the Baku city circuit, a real contradiction of a track. From the long main straights, where the less drag the better, to the tight turns where downforce is a necessity teams are going to have to work hard to get that balance right. It's not a usual F1 weekend though, with qualifying brought forward to make way for an all-out sprint race, which will decide the grid for the Grand Prix. So stay with us for all the race weekend thrills. Sprint race time, let's do it. Our sprint today sees the drivers take on 17 laps of the Baku City Circuit. Expect to see plenty making the most of Baku's long, wide main straight. That's going to be their best chance to overtake and secure a strong result. A sprint victory and points up for grabs right here. Now's the time for the sprint here in Baku. And it slides out and away we go. Okay, good pop off. We are ahead of signs. But just a little bit. We'll go down the straightaway. We're gonna have the inside here. We're gonna beat signs on the inside. But he is gonna have the inside here. And he is obviously going to beat us in that one. But we are still neck and neck with him. Putting out in front. A little chicane here. And then it's a left turn. Awesome. But we are going to overtake. Actually, I take that back. It's a right turn. Then it's a left turn. A little bit of a yikes there by Estevan trying to go two through the castle section. We are going to give that position up to signs, unfortunately. Back here, we have DeVries and Pacher holding us up. There's some good speed here behind signs. Yes, and Abbott. There's this. We have DRS enabled here.
cool as you enjoy. Copy. Cool the car. We have a faster car. Trying to catch up here. Sign's going too wide with us in the castle section. That's a bit iffy. I'll take a crack at it. Awesome. Wait up, keep pushing now. Charge on. Charge on, charge on. Copy. Off of it. Copy. Our acceleration is just so good here. I think I'm gonna get DRS there. I do. Okay, to push on tires. Copy. Charge on, charge on. Copy. Let's pick up the pace. Charge. 
Ó. to push cover that we need to lift off lift off copy that We have a second on Verstappen. We just need to hold that. Cover that. Order check. Yeah. Esteban Ocon has won the sprint race. He's going to have pole position for the race. comes Estevan Ocon he will be your sprint race winner Magnuson just could not hold it there he is it's going to be Verstappen brilliant racing really well done Yes! Esteban Ocon really earned that sprint win. The car is capable of doing wondrous feats. The point is the best result they could have hoped for. There it goes Verstappen, Perez, Leclerc does finish ahead of Magnussen at G5. Gasly at six, sign seven, Pacher eight. Uh, Schumacher just over Albin. Uh, Russell, DeVries, Stroll at P13. Norris, Bottas at P15. Danny Rick, Gio, 
Piastri, Sonoda, and Maloney rounding out. Just cross the finish line there, and the Hugo Boss. It's Esteban Ocon who picks up the win in today's sprint. And what a well-deserved P1 finish that was. Absolutely outstanding. Fair metrics, boys. No, uh, no podium. This is a sprint race, but that's going to be eight more points tacked on there. And Kevin's going to put four more. So that's going to be 12 for us. McLaren only gets three and Mercedes only gets two. We need a good finish here. We can press it pretty hard until we get like probably 1.2. And we could probably tone it down on the fuel. The last... Uh, maybe we go to point one and we see how it goes. Let's see if there's any one-stoppers. On the grid, and it won't be long until we get underway. There's a chance for Esteban Ocon to show what he can do here. They're on pole, and it's well-deserved. I'm looking forward to seeing what they can do. Here we go. It's time to go racing. This is what you've been waiting for. It's the Azerbaijan. I think it's a good even split between hearts and mediums. And it's out or uh, mediums and softs, I mean. It is. Esteban's going to get a good push here. Kevin's gonna weasel his way. Oh, actually, he ended behind Leclerc. And there it is, the Haas up front. He won. Make sure we didn't have any forecast things change. Where's the. It's it's when I get here. No, it's not. I thought there was a not here either. I thought there was a view that gives me extended out of that. Here it is. Okay, it's still gonna be five percent. Now, when I calculated this, did I calculate that they could go all the way there? I calculated they could, but I think we'll be faster. Of course, though, with how this track is, there could be a safety car. There obviously could be any sorts of contact. I think last year we didn't have any real wrecks at Baku, which was kind of strange. Fairly clean race. I don't expect that this year. Especially with the rain.
Okay. Esteban is pushing hard. You'll love to see it. That Merc is a little bit faster than ours. Is enabled. Currently P5. You should be mode charge. Yep. Too wide on the castle section. Perez, you have some balls. Check lacks any real abrasiveness. So I think we'll be fine. I think they'll box though. I am kind of hoping for uh shot 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 shot. Copy. For some kind of wreck somewhere. Someone has to lose control somewhere. I think I should have went on mediums with Esteban. And just taking it all the way to Winters. I think like the AI is about to try to do. It's a red flag. Red Who just flag. had a moment back here? 
Albin, Norris, all these guys are out. Ooh. Okay. Oh, sorry, guys. It's okay, Albano. It's okay. It's not going the way the team had hoped today. That is for sure. Okay, we'll go on mediums. A sense of deja vu here as the drivers once again face the countdown. And it's lights out, and away we go. Should have went on softs. I wish there was a bit more indication of when you're actually coming back. We might get blown out of the water here. But I think we can sustain a faster runtime. Than Perez over time. So that was Schumacher and Alban. Alban got both penalties. Maybe we can even run that hard. The more distance I can get, the better for me it is. We get like uh, now I can see why, because no one's heating up the track in front of you. The ability to just go hard on tires without killing them is insane because I'm so close behind there's some extra heating we're getting on the track we've already hit 50 boxing and box is there box box yeah happy to box by the time i get out of the pits it will be raining and it's going to stay above one Verstappen, Leclerc, Perez, Gasly, Magnus, everyone's going to come in. We are at the end and should have... Come on, have a good box. Yes, and we get out. We'll be all empty here coming out. Now what 
For sure has a pit stop issue. The Williams team take their places. But they run into trouble and it holds up their stop. The car release. Car release issue. So how was that box? Is it here? Who's behind me? It's for Stappen. Two point four three eight. Well, it wasn't that. They picked up a couple of seconds on me. Shot 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 shot. Copy. We have no DRS. Now I should just go by who has the faster car. And we're also similar. That we should keep up this four minutes. Granted, no one hits the wall. Now, if, any, if someone hits the wall, it's a bad news bear situation. It's getting better. It's gonna be hard. We might have to take a second here, but if I can win this, the biggest thing is this is good points over Merc in both situations. Look after your tires. Copy. We need lift off. Lift off. Copy that. The confidence is so off on Esteban. Charge on, charge on. Yeah, copy. I think we, oh, this is going to be close. I mean, 10 laps. We're going to see Verstappen's point of view here. I mean, I wouldn't mind. Someone hitting the wall. Auto tank. Okay. Oh, 
back up to anything, guys. Yes, you can. That's why I had you to push. Focus. Focus, Estevan. Damn it, he's gonna beat us. That car is still just a little bit too fast. Okay, Kev, no more lift to coast. Yeah, I'm coming. I mean, still a little bit too, too fast. I'm not going to be able to catch Verstappen. I mean, it's back and forth. We're so decently matched right now. It's the confidence. Not having the confidence because of all these new parts. Not having confidence in the car itself. That's what it comes down to. Having issue, having awesome. confidence issues in the car. You're doing good job. I'm just gonna burn these tires at, at this point. Let's see if we can get them down Just to standard. Your tires, especially on the rears. Keep pushing. Good to go, mode push. Yeah, copy. More charge. Copy. More charge. Copy. Charge on, charge on. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think we can hang with them. Well, Magnuson is catching up. Cool the car as much as you can. 
Wait, we're just gonna have to burn the hell out of these tires. It happens. Too wide to the castle section is such a meme. It's a back and forth with Verstappen, and we are burning tire in the process. But one of these times he's going to come at me and he's going to destroy me. Okay, I've gotten high driver confidence out of this. For as long as I can charge this, I will. Okay, that's helped me get acclimated to the car. I'm not really worried about Perez catching up to us. He probably will, but at the end of the day, we'll have this DRS. This confidence for Esteban Ocon to keep this is helping me so much. That last lap, we are going full balls to the wall. Wait, this is two laps left, right?
I might unleash this during this turn. Three laps, okay. I am going to unleash it out of this turn. And it'll be two full laps of DRS. Should be two and a half laps. Technically. Now. Hot push, hot push. Copy that. Can't keep up with them. Just, just play it smart. Yep. Come on, Esteban. I need you. Let's push, baby. Let's push. After this, two laps. I'm going to reserve Magus into sixth. Getting Estevan's confidence up allowed me to defend against Verstappen. Two minutes. Let's go a neutral one. And then a second push. Final lap will be a push. Okay, out of here. The final lap is a full push. Okay. No, nothing to write home about. This is how we lose or fail right here. Lose or fail. Win or lose. Succeed or fail. It's, it is 5.30 in the morning. It's all right. Could this be our first win of this year? Verstappen's trying to fight right now. He just does not have the DRS, I don't think. Looking at it. He does. I don't know why he's not using it, but I don't think it's going to matter. One last ride. Or really just one last lap. Let's watch this from another camera angle. Here goes Esteban. Pretty close between Verstappen and Perez. Last lap is called. Still that 1.3 second gap in ourselves and Verstappen. Looks like Verstappen's gonna pretty much Coincide with his ability just to sit back and defend. He wants to defend against Perez. This will be a good bit of racing for us because it does mean we get more points in aggregate this weekend at Baku than Mercedes. So that is a good bit. Let's come out and deploy. Into the chicane into the castle section, and that will be that. Go balanced and lift off. 
up it up. At this point, let's go standard. We need management. Cup it up. Into the castle section. And here is Estevan Ocon. Gonna win the first race for Haas this season at Baku. We did win last year at Spa, our only win. Got a couple more turns. He just has to not screw it up. This one's always a big turn. Ocon takes it, takes a little wide, but we're good. And here it is, the straightaway. Estevan Ocon winning Haas, the first race. What was this, 2025? Verstappen looks like he's going to hold on against Perez. And there it is. This will be your grid as Ocon passes the line. It'll be Ocon, Verstappen, Perez, Gasly. Uh, Leclerc, Magnussen. We got some time before signs. First over the line today. And Ocon takes the win. That is a sweep for Haas this weekend at Baku. Honestly, even their harshest critic would be hard pressed to say that they yes. thoroughly deserve that win. Okay, that's the check. That is a sprint race win in a race win right there. As science crosses over, stroll a little bit behind. Finally, uh, well, those straightaways pretty long, so. Stroll coming across. He's going to be at P8. Batas coming in at P9. The Ferrari is coming in as a tandem at 10 and 11. For Sharon, the Williams going to be coming across P12. Piastri and McLaren going to be P13. P14 will be Danny Rick. Giovinazzi and the Renault going to come in at P15. The Freeze and the Williams at P16. Sonoda and Maloney both in the Hugo Boss. Well, Hugo Boss is struggling. The two ejected today from the race track. It was a red flag. It was Schumacher and Albano. So, as we wait for Maloney to finally get across the line. Gonna take him some. Let's let's, uh, let's fast forward. There it is. Let's give him a little assistance. Balbano has two penalties here, so he'll serve both grid penalties next race. All right, so it was a good race this time. I typically mute this because the music is flagged by YouTube. But great ways for us today. I thought uh, Australia was okay. But Baku. Let's go. Let's go. I think Magnuson's Kind of solidified at least his job for the first part of the year with these first four races. I think. We'll have to see how that moves us up and down the uh, constructors. We'll have to see how many wins this is. Or how many wins? How many points this is this week? Next is Miami, too. So, 25 points. Another A from Magnuson. Uh, at the end of the day, what does that mean for... Verstappen had the fastest lap. Mercedes only put up 21. Well, we put up 
33, 34, 33. Maybe 35. 33. I just can't count. And the drivers, it's Espan Ocon at second. Actually, not too far behind Max Verstappen. The points tally for this weekend is we picked up 55 points this weekend. 55. The Mercedes only picked up 29. That is a big grab for this weekend. Baku. So here's the constructors. Uh, th I don't think this has sprint races in it. I think we'll have to go back and look at those. Uh, no DHL. Come on. I think my game just froze. Let's hope it uh, saved. I don't want to do that race again. It should be fine since you get to this. Well, we got a one, two. Oh, well, that's that's as close. Esteban Ocon won the race. That's all that matters. We recreated everything. Magnuson got a second. We we're going to keep him anyway. I mean, it's really just. Really, it's just Red Bull that lost points there, to be honest. And not uh, Mercedes. Because Mercedes, instead of finishing fourth, they finish third now. They get some more. But we get the fastest lap. We at least get some money. I swear to God, don't, don't, please don't do it. Okay. We recreated it. It only took us like five minutes.